As business leaders strategically consider their next three years, can you help us to understand you know, some of the digital capabilities that financial service providers in particular are going to use to differentiate themselves? Absolutely. Uh, and that's a great question to start the discussion with, Al. Uh, look, the brand differentiation is at the very core as financial services look to stay relevant and also compete in this fast changing industry. Right? Even more so now with the post pandemic new normal that we all are living in. So I see three specific focus areas that I think the FS firms need to double down in terms of the digital assets and capabilities that they need to build and stay ahead of the curve. So first, I think for the scaling of the digital channels, especially as the transactions shift away from the physical ones, so the end-to-end -end transaction capabilities, but also the back-end payment processing, if you will, to customer centricity. And it's always been at the very front, but look, not just the experience, but how is the engagement more targeted and do the financial services truly know their customers remains the key. And finally, I think empowering the workforce clearly is now a top priority that uh, the financial services need, uh, terms need to focus on. And in fact, the broader partner ecosystem so as to be able to deliver the results uh, in this hybrid and digitally accelerated world that we're all living in. And so for that, they have to make sure they think about employee engagement, the productivity tools, and let's not forget the emotional and physical well-being that's going to be a key as well. Help me speculate about the work you know, set up in the future. What do you think that's going to look like? Yeah, now look, uh, uh, great question. And this is, this is something that every organization, every organization, including us at Microsoft, are grappling with, right? And trying to understand what is the future of this workplace looks like in the new normal. And it certainly has a significant impact on our financial services firms as well, right? Just the broader ecosystem. Uh, I think the short answer is it will have to be a hybrid approach as we go ahead. And as that gets rolled out, the organizations will need to redefine the expectations, the norms in terms of what the remote work looks like. Absolutely no choice there. Uh, look, uh, based on a recent uh, third party survey, 73% of the surveyed employees uh, indicated that they wanted a flexible work option. But at the same time, almost 67%, and this is a competing uh, sort of the aspect that you look at, they want more in-person, more connected, more collaborative uh, environment that they can work in, especially post the pandemic, right? So that sort of shows the challenge that we have to solve. I think, the, the firms will need to focus on, and you know, we at Microsoft have done an amazing job in terms of empowering our workforce by A, planning for flexibility, right? B, investing in the space and technology that bridge sort of the physical and digital world that we are now living in. Uh, combat the digital exhaustion from the top. That's very, very important. Uh, rebuilding the social capital as a business imperative is going to be key. Uh, rethinking the whole employee experience, uh, the partner ecosystem experience uh, to make sure that we're competing for the best and best uh, and most diverse and uh, inclusive talent, if you will. Uh, interestingly, just yesterday, uh, I'm sure you saw it uh, on uh, social media, our CEO Satya Nadella shared a research that uh, was led by Microsoft on the need for our brains to take a break. You know, in this digital world, we're going from meeting to meeting, from one team's meeting to another, and uh, we think that, you know, uh, that's okay, but it's not. The research shows that actually a meeting with no breaks or a day with meetings full of no breaks uh, brings the focus down, reduces uh, the productivity. So you do need these breaks to, you know, reduce the stress and then positively impact the productivity and the quality of your work. I had to just pull out as you were talking. I very rarely ever do this. This is the, I think you're talking about. Just take a little pause. This was the brain activity of workers who had back to back meetings. And what happens if you don't get up and just, you lose the creative vibe that's needed to, to do things. So again, I, I'm listening to you, but I not just know about it. I've already shared this with our entire team because I think it's a great point. And as you're talking about the, the hybrid work setup, I think that's a really wonderful 
insight that you're giving because Microsoft is such a global brand. It's going to drive a lot of smaller businesses' uh, sense of what's possible and how things can come together.